guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Dream Giveaway Garage, and guess what? I have one heck of a dreaming bad mamma jamma truck for you, and it's this thing right here. What the heck is it? It's a 2023 Shelby Super Snake, a Super Snake F-150, but guess what? This is all about celebrating the man himself, Carol Shelby, and this is a centennial edition Super Snake. But before we get into this street version supercharged Shelby truck, let's talk about what's going on here. The centennial edition, the reason why they call it that is to honor Carol Shelby. A hundred years ago was his birth date, and that is why we're here to celebrate and why they decided to make these special edition vehicles. Now, Shelby is only gonna take, when I say Shelby, we're talking about Shelby American, is only gonna build, they're gonna take 100 F-150s, stock Lariat trim F-150s, and turn it into one of these fire-breathing Carol Shelby Centennial Edition Super Snakes. Now, the great news is you do get special exterior appointments. But the even better news is, is underneath all that sheet metal, you're getting more horsepower, you're getting better braking capability and handling capability. But what I want to find out is, if you're looking for the king of performance trucks, is this Super Snake the way to go over, say, a Raptor R or a Ram TRX or even any of the Roush trucks? Let's go ahead. Let's dive into our Centennial Edition Super Snake and find out. Right off the bat, the color. The bright Oxford white with the flat black racing stripes really sets it apart, and I'm so happy to celebrate Carol Shelby's birthday, his 100th birthday. I'm so glad that they didn't make a lifted Shelby truck. I adore these more street-going trucks. Now, at the front of the business, you're gonna see a lot of the style from an F-150 because that's the vehicle that it's based off of, but there's gonna be some changes. First of all, we have LED daytime running lamps, LED projector beam headlights. You do have a little bit of fake vent here, and I am gonna zonk that. The good news is there's not a lot of fake other vents. Now, working our way down, we have LED fog lamps, and I like the way the daytime running lamp drops all the way into this bottom bumper. This is a metal bumper, bright Oxford white paint job. You do have these corner vents, and even though they look fantastic, I am gonna zonk them because they're not functional. They should have made them functional, but I do like the body colored matching, and one thing I'm really digging is this massive splitter that they put on the lower lip here. This is a functional piece to give us extra downforce, and to stop air from going underneath this massive truck. Now, like I said, if you're thinking that this is just a bunch of decals and racing stripes, it's not. They actually tested this arrow at racetracks to make sure that it's gonna perform as Carroll Shelby would have liked to have seen it perform if he was still with us today. Now, you'll notice on the lower portion, you do have functional vents on the lower grill area, and as we come across the front, instead of having the Ford badge, we have that Shelby name. Bright Oxford white, forward-facing camera. I like the functional upper grill, and I'm okay with it being flat black. The stripes go all the way down to the bottom, and then, of course, the lower grill area is functional as well. But definitely seeing this come up behind you in your rearview mirror, it's got one hell of a presence. And just sitting here, like I said, lowered, with that unique, this is all unique to this Super Snake. The grill, the bumper area, the lower grill, the splitter, just gives it that personality that you're just, you know that something big and bad is underneath that hood. And wait until I tell you about the supercharged power. But let me know how you feel about the front of the vehicle. Like I said, the Oxford white with the flat black racing stripes, it's working for me. Now, as we take the elevator all the way up, you're gonna get a twin Ram Air functional hood. So we have the bulge, so you can put away the socks. You don't need to put the socks to create a bulge underneath the hood. You have your Ram Air set up flat black. And like I said, I'm okay with the flat black. I think gloss black, it would have just been too shiny. Not only do you have the 
ram air effect going in, but we also have our functional heat extractors on the back side. And this hood really has a lot of character, not only with the functional part, but remember, sometimes function makes the form just look so awesome. And I just love the way it has that rise. You got that split in the center and the heat extractors on both sides just really give it a unique look. If you were to ask me, Joe, what is your favorite hood ever on a car? I could actually tell you that. My favorite hood ever on a car of any generation is a 1969 slash 1970 Shelby GT350 or Shelby GT500. Use the Google, use the interwebs to check it out because I'm telling you, one of the best looking hoods ever. But I'm really digging this one as well. Now, as we come around the bend, you're gonna notice the truck sits lower. That's because it has these Fox Racing coilover suspension, all four corners. That's gonna help us lower the F-150. We also have beefed up sway bars and you're looking at things like traction bars and subframe con connectors to make this F-150 chassis as rigid as possible to really help with the handling. Now, when you look at the wheel and tire setup, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, look at this. These are Forge Shelby wheels, 22 inches in diameter. Look at the way it's got the Shelby snake there. That Cobra's gonna bite Steven in the neck and kill him. And guess what? That's gonna be the best death Steven could ask for. I even parked it like this because Steven wanted the Shelby name to be totally horizontal and perfect. So this was just for Steven. That's what I do to uh, make him happy. Now when it, with this forge wheel, you got your nice gloss black Y spoke design. Tires, 305 on the width, 40 series sidewall, and you'll notice that we have painted fender flares. So Steven's gonna kind of swing it around and show you the arrow the way the bumper, lower bumper comes out, and then you have that fender flare, because these are 305s, much wider than your stock F-150 Lariat wheel and tire setup. You're also gonna have custom upper control arms, and like I said, all that suspension work that's been tweaked to make this thing handle. Now, as we come down the side, I love the way you got that silver supercharged name with the functional heat extractors. We drop our way down. We got Carol Shelby signature on this badge with the Shelby name and these side vents are functional as well. Color match on the mirror caps, 360 degree cameras. And one of the easiest giveaways is down below here, that Carol Shelby Centennial Edition, 100 years. That's why they're making just 100 of these. Now, with that lower side stripe, you're also gonna notice the side skirt extension it extends in the front, it tapers, and then it flares back out as we kind of swing around and show off that 800 horsepower. So we're not, Carol Shelby and Shelby American is not gonna try to hide anything. They're just gonna let you know 800 horsepower with that supercharged V8. I like the way that it's a crew cab, but it would have been nice to just have a single cab. That I actually did a review of that a while ago, it must have been back in 2021, that was a crazy ride because you think about how much weight you're saving by eliminating the rear passenger seat and doors and everything, but still this thing is gonna haul the mail and we're gonna go on throttle. Now working our way towards the rear, you do get this beautiful tonneau cover with the racing stripes that continue all the way back. I like the way it's got that nice kick up design. Of course, out back when we look at wheels and tires, you are getting upgraded rotors and upgraded pads all four corners. And you'll see that they're actually slotted to help dissipate the heat. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, are, is it a square tire setup? Yes, 22 inch wheels, 305s, all four corners. And then I don't know if Steven could show off, you could actually see the actual um, traction bars and the frame connectors and everything back there to help us try to get the traction to the ground. This is a four by four, so you could go power all four wheels but well, what we're gonna do is send all the power to just the rear wheels and do a little bit of on throttle action. Coming towards the rear, of course, we gotta have the Shelby name and that same silver, just like on the supercharged name on the hood. Even the way they do the lower side skirts on the rear. And then when we get to the tail end of the business, you'll notice how the racing stripes come all the way down. We have our Shelby name once again in silver. 
you have your full tow capability, and we have a Borla Shelby developed exhaust, slash cut, oval opening. Love the way it's got one exhaust exiting on each side to let that Coyote supercharged V8 sing. And then if you're wondering, well, what, what is in the bed of this thing? So basically what you're gonna find, and I'm gonna open this up for Steven to make his life easier, because that's what we care about here on Radies Rides, making his life easier. Nice, slow release, fully carpeted. So this is kind of nice, the way this is fully carpeted. It's got the Shelby name in it. Maybe if your significant other is pissed off that you bought one of these or you win this one, maybe you could sleep in this. That'd probably be your best bet. But we even have, on the driver's side, you do have a home power source. So you are gonna have that home power source so that you could you know, have a coffee maker, a blender, a popcorn popper, uh, and you could basically live out of the back of this truck. But why don't we go ahead, the bed is cool because it's carpeted, but let's go ahead and pop that Ram Air hood and take a look at the supercharged power in this Centennial Edition Super State. All right, guys, we got that hood open. Underneath the hood, you're gonna see they did the work. First of all, we have our Shelby American number badge. This goes in the registry, so you're part of the official club. And then you'll also notice we have a massive carbon fiber air intake tube and air box, and there is a race style cone filter in there, of course. Leading from the carbon fiber intake tube is a ginormous billet aluminum throttle body. Of course, we have Shelby pulleys for the supercharger, and there she is. That Whipple supercharger, specifically tuned for Shelby American with this truck. Are you ready? It's a five liter Coyote V8, but guess what? We're not producing 400 horsepower. We're producing 800 horsepower, 900 pound-feet of torque, zero to 60 in about 3.4 seconds. It's all routed through a 10-speed automatic, quarter mile in about 10.5 seconds. We're not even gonna talk about MPGs, but who gives a damn because that's not what this truck is all about. And then of course the sound coming out of that Borla custom exhaust fine-tuned by Shelby American, but let's go ahead. Looking at this thing, I could look at it all day long, but I want to have a little bit of an eargasm. So get your tissues ready. Let's get in, fire up this super snake, and hear its hiss. All right, guys, we are inside this 2023 Shelby Super Snake, that Carroll Shelby Centennial Edition. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, this truck is making my heart pitter-patter. I love what Shelby American does. I love the Ford versus Ferrari movie. I need a truck. I can't drive around a Ford GT going to work, but I'm digging this. How much is it? Well, first of all, remember, you could win this through Dream Giveaway Garage, and it's a twofer because you get also the Centennial Edition of the Mustang Super Snake as well. And if you're wondering what number is this out of the 100, it's 75 because of 75 years of Shelby American. But if you want to know what the MSRP is, this one is optioned at $136,995. But let's see what you get if you're gonna be able to put this in your garage and call it your dream giveaway garage to the door panels. So you're getting the Lariat trim, which is a nice higher level of spec. I do like the soft touch material, the white stitching. You do have those painted dark metallic gray areas on the door panel, no gloss black. I like the Shelby Twinkie tray that they have there. will fit five Shelby Twinkies. 
B&O sound system with the aluminum speaker grill cover, and then a door pocket large enough for Carol Shelby's favorite, two 12-inch meatball subs with tons of extra parm and two Coca-Colas to wash it down. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, same thing, the soft touch material, that silver trim. I love how Shelby American adds the carbon fiber all the way. It's real deal carbon fiber all the way around the surround. If you're wondering what the heck is this hanging thing, they want to make sure that when you get your Shelby Super Snake, you understand 93 octane is a must. But you're going to get all of the Sync 4 software. We've already gone through this, so I'm not going to talk about it. Watch one of my F-150 videos. We got plenty of them. You got your Pro Trailer Assist, because like I said, there's a Lariat trim. We do have a 12 volt. You're going to want a radar detector, or you're going to wind up in jail. I love, you got home power source, real knobs for radio control, dual climate, heated seats, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel. This is to go from too high to four high to four automatic to four low. You can lock the rear diff, more of that silver finish, open the door, wireless charging, USB-C, USB-A, and you could fit five, I would say maybe six Rolos, six packages of Rolos, nice caramel center, or do you say caramel? What are, are you a caramel person or are you a caramel? I think Steven is a caramel person. I'm more just like caramel, but he likes to say caramel. But anyways, carbon fiber all the way across. I like the way if you are gonna have a couple bananas, you can keep the bananas in here and not have your banana holder. You don't have to wear your banana hammock. Two cup holders, they're really telling you, make sure you use 93, they wanna remind you. There's your key fob, it's just a standard four key fob. Nothing really exciting, but this is, this is just kinda of cool. How many warnings do you get on a, on a key fob like this? This is gonna control that 10 speed automatic transmission and yes, you can fold it down. No, you can't do that while you're driving. That's, that's dumb to even think that. Now, I like the way they give you this badge with the Carroll Shelby Signature Centennial Edition. There it is, number 75. Open it up. What do we have? You got tons of room to where you can actually keep, I would say, five softballs. So I don't know if you're aware of this, but Carroll Shelby was one hell of a softball player. So if you ever had your ball signed by Carroll Shelby when he was still alive, you could keep them in here, but what I do have for you, I don't have Carol Shelby's signature or autograph. I got Tony Stewart's. So there is Tony Stewart with the truck, with the Mustang, and you get that autograph. That's for you, from me to you. Put that in there. Let me know if you, if you like Tony Stewart. Let me know in the comment section. I don't even know if you like Tony Stewart. Seats. The leather, upgraded leather, you have the Centennial badge. There's the man himself. Love the way they did the special trim. Full electric assist for the passenger. Full electric assist for the driver. And because this is a Lariat trim, you do have a power sunshade for a panoramic sunroof. So that's a really nice touch. But why don't you get your butt over here? I want to show you behind the steering wheel in this hiss, Super Snake. I got a bit of time behind the wheel. You do have three memory seat settings for the driver's seat. Look at the pedals. Absolutely love the finish. They look like pieces of jewelry that somebody would wear on their body. I just wish they would have gave me the dead pedal. What they, what they have, like a, they run out of metal that day. So that's a zonk, but I do like the Carol Shelby signed floor mats. Obviously that's not really his signature. They embroidered it, but that is an extra five horsepower. You got all your seat controls, easy to get to. I got plenty of room in here as any other F-150. Steering wheel. It's close. It's close to being awesome. You do have your standard leather with the contrast stitching. You do have the full carbon fiber. Come on. You mean to tell me they couldn't have popped this off and put a Shelby Super Snake horn button there with a Cobra? Give me an effing break. That is a zonk. I want the Cobra. I want to be bit in the neck and die a sweet death. But instead, I have the blue oval. But I do like the way you do have a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then you do have the 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, all that information. And then of course you go into the modes, Bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet, Deep Snow, 
No, we don't want to go in a four by four. We definitely don't want to do that. We definitely don't want eco. I'm going to leave it in sport and I'm going to go back to too high so we could do our burnout. But obviously you get the tech, you get some extra touches. Let's get in the back seat and see if there's anything special for your passengers because I'm ready to go on throttle in this super snake. All right, guys, we are in the back seat and just like any other F-150, you have tons of room back here. I mean, who are we joking? This would be the perfect like companion to a track vehicle. Like you could use this to tow if you wanted to, or you could have a different vehicle that you either drive or tow your track vehicle out to. And then this could be the one that you haul all the gear with and the people, because there's tons of room back here. Easily put, I would say eight cannolis back here. Carol Shelby was a big fan of the Italian treat known as the cannoli. So is Steven. So there is still hope for Steven. He had the same desire for cannoli that Carol Shelby had. That's pretty amazing. Back in the command center, you do have more carbon fiber, two cup holders, heated seats, no ventilated seats, a 12 volt, and then we got lots of connectivity. I mean, USB-C, USB-A, and a home power source. Sitting back here, like I said, you got plenty of room. You pull this down. Eventually it'll stay flat, but you got plenty of room for your arm. And I like the way they have the same cool, almost like snake skin design on the seats. But why don't we go ahead, the hell with talking about sitting in this thing. Let's go on throttle and see if this super snake lives up to it, the name. All right, guys, we are inside this centennial edition, 100 years of Carol Shelby. If he was still around, he'd be 100 years old. That would make him a centenarian. But anyways, Talking about supercharged, super snake power. I have it in sport mode. I have it in two wheel drive. So that makes this, all that power go into the rear wheels. And of course we have it with the traction control off. I'm a firm believer. Smoke them if you got them. If you're ready, I'm ready. Here we go, on throttle! Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Nice! You just hear the roar of that supercharger and just all that power, 800 horsepower. And you just turn those rubber tires to smoke. And that's what it's all about. But the great news is, is that when you have this vehicle, this truck in the right situations, it's amazing what Shelby American has done with the Fox coilovers, the Fox Racing coilovers. We have the beefier sway bars, and of course, all the ways of connecting the frame, just having everything all locked in, more rigid to give you some good handling dynamics. But if you're ready, I'm ready. Oh, here we go, 10 speed drops down and we're off. <laughs> I love the sound of the supercharger. Obviously, the sound of the exhaust. It's a nice balance. You're getting that supercharger whine. And then, of course, looking out across that aircraft carrier size hood, I could see the heat extractors. And if you look just right, you could actually see the heat that's emanating from those two openings. That is the functionality and the form all together. But really just a comfortable truck, just like any other F-150, but with those extra performance goodies. Are you ready? I'm gonna slow down here. Oh, here we go, drop it down and we're off. Mm. On the brakes, shedding the speed. Look at this, not too bad, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Not too bad for an F-150. On the brakes. Ooh, ooh. Like seriously, there is not a ton of body roll in this truck. And remember, even though it's lowered, you're still in a tall vehicle. And we're actually cornering quite flat for the type of vehicle that we're in. Because this is not a mid-sized truck. This is 
a full-size truck and it's amazing to see what those suspension bits and that's why I, what i always talk about you could throw tons of horsepower at something if it doesn't handle for crap you're gonna be not feeling very confident behind the wheel of this truck i'm actually feeling very very confident now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it into four high lets me know that the shifting is taking place and now we're gonna go on throttle from a dead stop four by four style are you ready all right, here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo! Mm, look at this. Wow. With the 4x4 system engaged on high, it's freaking ridiculous. It's ridiculous how this truck moves, especially when you look at a, a Raptor R or a TRX. This thing really hauls the mail, and you, you could put tons of mail in that uh, bed area, that's for sure. You ready? On throw, here we go. Mm, that supercharger on the brakes. Here we go, here we go. Nice. <laughs> mm. On those brakes. Look at this. Just very very balanced it's very surprising just how you feel behind the wheel of this truck and this almost makes me wonder like what if what if we lived in a world where instead of the ford lightning instead of the ford lightning being an ev it went back to its roots and it was all about the ford lightning as of course we got some smoke here because we are smoking those tires in this thing but it, imagine if the lightning was all about performance truck instead of ev that's what it should be about but this is like a what a ford lightning would be today if it wasn't an ev but i'm hoping that you have really enjoyed being behind the wheel of the shelby super snake we're gonna get back to dream giveaway garage because they want this one back, I know that. We're gonna get back to Dream Giveaway Garage and wrap this one up, so I will see you in a nanosecond. All right, guys, it's been a rip-roaring, on-throttle, supercharged V8 Shelby kind of day here on Dream Giveaway Garage. We definitely gotta thank Lori, Chris, Ryan, and the rest of the crew getting us this Centennial Edition, one of a 100 Super Snakes for their giveaway, remember, if you spend $25 or more and use the Radies Rides promo code, you get double your chances of winning this truck along with the Mustang Super Snake. It's a twofer, as I like to say. But let me know down in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up. Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. Follow him on Instagram. Like his photos because he's pretty, he's pretty darn good with a camera. And we'll keep doing everything we can to make his life easier. So show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you're doing. Just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.